Well, good morning, guys. It is Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. Um, today, I'm out by myself, and there's a reason I'm by myself. Well, for one, Paul's not in town. He's down in Jamaica. But um, I am uh, out here by myself because my wife is at home with COVID, and I've been taking her, uh, taking care of her for a while here. So the good thing about fishing is I can come down here. I don't have to, I live four, four or five miles from the ramp. I don't have to stop. I don't have to touch nothing. I don't have to talk to nobody. Unless somebody comes out here and gets on my boat with me, everybody's safe. I don't have it anyway. I've been tested like three or four times. So, and I always come up negative. Um, but anyhow, she's doing pretty good. Uh, she's feeling a lot better the last couple of days. Her cough is subsiding. So uh, today she said uh, that I was relieved of duty long enough to go fishing. Good woman. Uh, I couldn't stop at the, I didn't want to stop at a bay shop or anything, so I'm going to have to get my own shrimp or mullet or something. So let's see what I can come up with in the net. It's an awesome day. Hardly any breeze. Uh, just a little bit of a breeze, nice and cool. We started to cool down just a touch. So, see if I can get some bait. Well, I definitely ain't having no problem getting shrimp in this net. Every cast, I'm getting them. Didn't get that many this time, but I've been getting, getting a whole bunch. Got plenty, I think. That's what I got in my last couple of casts. Plus, I got a bunch in the, in the bait well already. Be a tarpon. <laughs> that was tarpon, guys. It was a big tarpon. It ran out about a hundred yards and then it popped off. It was on a little shrimp. I've lost all my stuff. Oh my God, I keep losing that. <laughs> yeah, now that was crazy. These guys beside me didn't even see. It was going that direction away from the jetties. It went out. I was looking at my line, trying to figure out if I needed to pull up my anchor and how I was going to do that. And I got out about 100 yards and it just went doop. So I've had to retie, put on a new float and all this stuff. That was just insane. What's crazy is that a fish that big can be right up on the bank like that and you don't even know it. And right up on these rocks. Red. Bad. 
Not a bad guy. <coughs> okay. Got some sheep's head here. I just had one get off. And these little tricky things, I've never caught them out here. <coughs> they have to put on a float rig. GoPro, start recording. GoPro, start recording. GoPro, start recording. I just have this on a light sinker, letting it drift. Of them out there. They probably, they might be legal, but I want them a little bigger. All right, it has slowed down. I guess technically I've caught a slam today. I've had a flounder, a uh, sheep's head, and some redfish. I think I might here in a few minutes if you don't pick up here pretty quick. Uh, go hit a couple of flats and see if I can catch some trout. I really would like to catch some keep a redfish though, to be honest. And I want to be honest. I want to be honest with you guys. Some of you may be new to my channel. A lot of times people that watch my wife's channel come over and watch mine. Of course my wife has a real YouTube channel. You know, she's got 270,000 subscribers. All that kind of stuff. But you know, really, I can get just as many views as her. What I need is for all of you guys that usually watch my videos, uh, if you could watch like 30 of them a piece, or watch it 30 times instead of just once, that'd really help my views. So uh, if you guys could just, you know, I know it gets boring. But I really need 30 more views per person a day. That would get me up in the ballpark of uh, kind of what she gets in a way. It's not a competition. It's obviously not a competition. <laughs>
Well, that was fun out there. And I think it's about to be prime time right here, I hope. Yeah, that's the good thing about even through COVID and all that stuff and all those shutdowns, they didn't shut down fishing in Georgia. Now, some other states, I think they did, which it doesn't make any sense because you could come out here, you could fish without getting near anybody. You can get your own bait or you can use artificial or whatever and get outside. You don't have to be in a boat. You can be on shore or whatever. I'm glad our state didn't do that. Didn't shut it down like a lot of places did. my other little guy. You got more than one little guy. All right, we'll try one more spot. Nothing but little bitty trout there. And uh, we'll hit one more spot before we go home. mangrove guys I think I'll keep him I think I'll play him into a, a real variety day. Just short. 